when the saints go marching in. Vox Fidei brings you into the inner life of the world made flesh. Father Chris guides us in the lives of the saints in Saintly series. Welcome to Saintly series. Today, 27th of June, we celebrate Saint Cyril of Alexandria, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Saint Cyril, a native of Alexandria, Egypt, but he was inspired by his uncle, Theophilus, who was then the Patriarch of Alexandria. He was Patriarch of Alexandria from 412 AD to 444 AD. Cyril was a leading voice in the Christological controversy of the late 4th and the 5th centuries. A great teacher of the church, Cyril is well known as the champion of the cause of orthodoxy against Nestorius, the patriarch of Constantinople, which is a modern day Turkey. He stood against Nestorius and his heresies, Nestorianism, which denies the place of Mary or the mother of God with the title Theotokos. Nestorius had taught that in Christ there were two persons, one human and one divine. Cyril, on the other hand, taught the mind of the church that in Christ there is one person with two natures, the human nature and the divine nature. Therefore, Christ is one person of the Trinity and he is human and divine. In 431 AD, Cyril attended the Council of Ephesus as a representative of Pope Celestine I, now Saint Celestine I. Cyril had written several times to Nestorius, asking him to recant his teachings, but Nestorius would not. So, at the council, Nestorianism was condemned, and Nestorius himself was excommunicated, and Mary was declared officially Theotokos, the bearer of Christ or the mother of God. It was such an emotional moment too, because as the council fathers were gathered in the church of Santa Sophia in Ephesus in council, the lay faithful were outside, waiting, even in vigil, for the outcome of the council. They had lighted torches. And as soon as the door was opened, Cyril, leading the bishops, declared Maria Theotokos. And there was mad rejoicing in the city of Ephesus, a city that was known for pagan worship with special regard to Diana, the goddess, as recorded in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19. Mary now took over the city and the people were overwhelmed with joy. They had their lighted candles, they had their torches, and even with that, they led the council fathers back to their lodging. After all this, in the confusion that followed, Cyril was deposed and imprisoned for three months, after which he was later welcomed to Alexandria. Cyril dedicated his life from that moment to the defense of the church. He wrote about the Blessed Virgin Mary had dignified role as the mother of God, and he even wrote about the union, he called it the hypostatic union of Christ as both human and divine in the one person. He also had written against Julian, the apostate. Cyril died on the 27th of June, 444 AD. Cyril defended the teachings of the church against all odds and was able to uphold the faith. Cyril encourages us to be joined in Christ by receiving communion. For anyone who receives him in Christ, he remains in Christ. Cyril was long celebrated as a saint 
in the Eastern Orthodox Church and in the Catholic Church. He was declared doctor of the church in 1813 by Pope Leo XIII. The color of the day is white. What we offer the saints is veneration. God bless you. I am Father Chris, Vox Fidei. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Vox Fidei Publication, Instagram at Vox Fidei One, Twitter at Fidei Vox, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Vox Fidei. Don't also forget to like, share, and drop your thoughts in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Vox Fidei. God is in charge.